We need them to go back where they came from. I'm sure that there are plenty of places to live back there. I know it's not pleasant where, where their kind is from, but they should go back and make the best of it. it. It's not that simple. They have stuff here that they want, and no matter how many times you send them, they're gonna come back and stuff, I guess. I don't care. They have no right coming here and taking over. We need a stronger border to keep them out. We need more protection. Yeah, I guess, but you know, you never can stop it totally. What's going on? Fundy Monster and Bob are having an argument. What? About immigration? That's a hot button topic. Nope. About demon possession. Of course they are. We have to stop the flood of demons who cross our ethereal borders to inhabit the bodies of God-loving Christians. We need prayer to strengthen the border. Demons have right, too, you know. They struggle hard to leave hell for a better life here. <sighs> Seriously? Seriously. I know! The only thing that can possess a person are aliens and CIA psy operatives. I'm ignoring you, AJ. How long have they been arguing this nonsense? Since the Exorcist movie marathon at the Opinionville Multiplex last night. They do know that demon possession is crap, right? You guys know that demon possession is crap, right? Oh no, it isn't my anti-religious nut job. Demons can slip into a person and make them do terrible things, like vote Democrat, or, or enjoy sex, and tolerate other people's religious views. Bob, why are you arguing this? Somebody's gotta, you know fight for the rights of demons and stuff. Really? Eh. Arguing with Fundy Monster is more fun than hanging out in front of the AMPM. That's true, but Fundy, demons don't exist. Oh yeah? Then why do exorcists exist? Uh, why are exorcisms performed? Answer that, Mr. Disbelief. Because like you, the world is full of deluded morons who believe that when someone is acting funny, that they are possessed by a demon, rather than perhaps suffering from a physical or mental problem. Yeah, I mean, I like being tied down and told I'm evil just as much as the next guy. But what exorcists do is wrong. The people being exorcised need medical or mental health professionals, not some doofus armed with holy water. You just don't like exorcism because it proves the existence of the supernatural. I don't like exorcism because, as far as I'm concerned, it's a form of physical and mental abuse. Some of these people who are possessed have real problems that are being ignored. People have died during exorcism. So? That just proves that God took them up to heaven to save them. I have never been so close to hitting you, Fundy Monster. Exorcism needs to be done away with, and the people who practice it need to be brought up on charges of abuse or assault. But then you're trampling on people's religious freedoms. Well, how free are the people who have to endure exorcism? Religious freedom stops being free when religion becomes abuse. I don't care. We live in a demon-haunted world and our only defense is exorcism. That's where you are wrong, my fundamentalist friend. I happen to know that Ok, Ma, Tango, Balik, Va, Boca, Rotan, Florida. Um. Uh. What? Walla Walla Bing Shloom Hickory Robertson. I am no longer AJ. I am the demon Balal. Oh, hey, Bob. Oh, hey, man. Beware, Fuzzy Monster. I have come to burn down your ministry. Ricky Ticky Tabby. I am Baywatch. I am a demon of perversion. I will go to your house and look under your mattress to find your porn magazines. You wouldn't dare. I mean, uh, what porn mags? Er, Tekken Galaga Sinistar. I am, uh, Bootylicious the Demon. I have come to, uh, swallow your soul. Yeah, I'm surrounded by demons! I gotta call Pat Robertson! I've gotta call Earl Roberts! I've gotta call my mom! Ah! If I knew he frightened that easily, I would have acted possessed a lot sooner. What do you guys think? Are exorcisms a form of abuse? An unnecessary and archaic practice that should be prosecuted by law? 
Or is it an ancient tradition that truly helps those that believe that they're possessed? Comment or make a video response. Good thinking on uh, acting possessed, AJ. Who's acting? The CIA is beaming info into my brain as we speak. I need 900 yards of dental floss. sizzling skeptics and awesome atheists. Um, first, I would like to say that Ariel's radiation treatment is officially over. So now she's just going to be doing chemo probably until February. So yay that that part is done. <coughs> Second, I would like to thank Cthone665, the flatmate of the beast, for today's topic. Um, if you guys have two spends that you want to spend, go ahead and put it in the comment section. Or if you have a topic that you want to recommend or suggest, go ahead and PM me. Lots of people have, and I have lots of stuff in development. But that doesn't mean that you should have to stifle any ideas that you have. So please, PM me. It's the best way to make sure that I see your idea. <coughs> Third, on the 19th, it's my twin daughter's birthday. So Ariel and Alora are going to be out doing something and I'm probably going to be with them. So don't expect a video on the 19th. Um, but I'll go ahead and pack the uh, videos before and after it, so that way you guys don't feel ripped off. Fourth? There is no fourth. So, until next time, this has been Jason with a D. My CIA controllers tell me it's time for me to welcome the new subscribers to the channel. Welcome, Hive Dragon X, Justin Frost. Shingami028 and Toon Monkey. Welcome, guys. Ah, uh, that's it. <laughs>